What's up everyone, this is Ryuki here and this is my theory video of x -Blaze Lost Memories and who I think is the main character in this story this time around. Now the last x -Blaze, which was called Embryo, if I'm not mistaken because I actually have it here. Yes, called Embryo. Um, it was more based around Toya and that crew and giving you different perspectives of the story and what ifs and errors the way they ended. But this one... Is more based around a particular character, which they did not want to give the name, but instead they call her Me. And that's literally her name. You can actually name her too during the story as well. It's a part of one of the gimmicks of playing a character with apparently no name. But besides that, I just have a strong feeling that this character is um, Nine. And I will explain why. So before I continue on further, I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. There's going to be spoilers ahead for x -Blaze, Lost Memories, as well as possible or plausible events that could play out in the future of Blaze Blue. And who this character is that I am that I have recording right now. So if you do not like any spoilers or don't want to know anything more besides um, the character I'm about to speak of, stop watching the video and um, I guess watch something else. But any other than that, spoilers are going to begin for Lost Memories. So, uh, but I will say this now if you have not played Lost Memories and you, uh, like the story a lot in Blaze Blue, I highly suggest picking up, um, X Blaze because there's definitely a lot going on and it's definitely a direct tie in with, um, Blaze Blue and the possible things that are going to happen. So, I'm about to start talking now about. Well, I believe this character right here is nine. So before I get into that really quick, let me explain a little something, something. So clearly in um, x Blaze Lost Memories, you're playing through the perspective of me. That's what they call her. They call her me. Um, and they're her little sister. You get a little bit of a background story of what happened to them. But for those who read the Blaze Blue graphic novel called um, Phase Zero, you get more of a background story of Nine and Cecilia and what's going on. But they're much older in that graphic novel or the manga, however you want to call it. So I already have an idea of Nine and what happened to Cecilia and all that. But playing Lost Memories was really interesting because it made me think. This Their story is very, very, if not too similar to nine in Cecilia's. I mean, way too similar. So before I get into that, I keep saying before I get into that, damn. This character here, which you see right here with the white hair is uh, nobody. This character is S or ES, however you want to call it, which stands for Embryo Storage. Her name stands for that. If you don't believe me, look it up. That's what her name stands for. Um, she's the Embryo for now. <laughs> I don't know how they're gonna maybe change Maybe it'll change up in uh, the next Blaze Blue Central Fiction. But um, this girl here in the cover, she has a strong role with everything that's going on. And uh, I believe she's going to have a big role with everything that's going on. I believe she has, actually has a big role right now. Um, so in the beginning of the story, you're basically seeing what happened in her life. You're seeing her mother pass away, for instance. Um, her dad is a... Clearly, he's a scientist or some, something around that because he apparently he's very smart. And he, while their mother's dying, or her, her mother's dying, um, he takes her into a room and then totally disappears. Leaves his daughters in the house and he just kind of goes his own way after that. So she's left taking care of her little sister. And that's what she's called in the game, Little Sister. She doesn't have a name, apparently. She's just Little Sister. Her little sister, she leaves her one day in the house to stay while she goes out. Or, and when she goes back, she sees that her sister happens to disappear. And she disappeared into the room that her father went into. She winds up in the room. And she winds up in a place called the Phantom Field. And now she's on the journey to look for her sister. Meanwhile, while this is happening, she crosses by a character named Nobody, or Nobody comes to her. 
And nobody is the comedic relief in the story. She's meant to be vibrant, funny, and <laughs> that that's what she does well. And then nobody gives you the task of collecting memories. And at first, me, as she's being called, she's against the idea of doing this. She doesn't want to do this, but then she's like, the hell with it. If I could get, if this will help me find my little sister, I'm going to do this. And she does. She starts collecting the memory fragments. As she's collecting the memory fragments, she starts seeing events from other people's lives. One of the main ones being Toya. And as she's seeing Toya and S in particular, things start coming together. And pretty much Exploits Lost Memories, you're getting a big recap of what really happened in Exploits Cold Embryo. So after all that, skipping the whole story, and then some, she finally finds all the memory crystals, and she discovers who nobody is after she gets thrown out of um, the Phantom Field with her sister, little sister, obviously. Then she discovers... When she's back home, oh man, I already know who nobody is. So let me go back and help nobody. <laughs> so she builds the same invention that her father made that was destroyed when she was thrown out with her little sister. And she sees nobody again. And she figured out that nobody is S. And so she, she wanted to give her life back. Because what nobody taught her was friendship and so on. It was just she learned a lot and there it she considered nobody and nobody considered her as friends. They were good. She learned to be, she learned friendship. She learned a lot. And she gave, well, at least she felt that she gave S her life back. And then that story goes in a whole different direction from there. And what you figure out too, when she does this, she, un this, as you can see, she has her hand over her eye. Her eye has the power it has to do with Seether and all this stuff going on. So she has a lot of power. She's in control. I believe she's in control Seether if I'm correct. Um, but she altered the Phantom Field to a point where, um, with the help of nobody, to put her back in her timeline. But also, sort of, the way I took it was like she created another world with a what if scenario. Like she just twisted it up and gave her life back. But when she went back, she had a patch over her eye because now everything's sort of under her control. So when she goes back to her normal life, pretty much she goes to see her father. And that's how the game sort of ends. She goes to see her father with her little sister and then it ends there. But where do I get that she is nine? One is her design. Her design is a dead giveaway. And if you don't agree with me, well then I don't know what will co else will convince you. If you read the graphic novel and you play Lost Memories and you do the con the connection between the two, she is nine. I, I just don't think she can't be nobody else. She's to me nine. That's why they give you the option to name her or they don't give you the name because pretty much they don't give you the name through the whole game because they don't want you to know you're playing nine. But I strongly believe that she is nine. I believe she is um Miss Mercury. She's the older sister. And if you look at the designs between Mercury and her, they're alike. The only difference is this is a younger version of her. And in this age, she had her eye patched up. But as she got older, keep in mind, Nine is one of the one part of the 10 strongest mages. So clearly by the time she reached that, she had to learn how to control her power. And I'm pretty sure that's why she doesn't, I'm guessing she doesn't have a patch over her eye when she's older because she has control over her abilities. So besides that, her design is pinpoint. I believe she is nine. I don't think there's nothing else explaining, you know, why she's not nine. Um, the way she's dressed, her hair, the way she has her hair. Um, the only difference is when she's older, she lets her hair down. The reason why I think they didn't want to reveal her as nine is because it'll kind of. It'll be, I mean, in itself is a dead giveaway. I mean, she, once she has no name which was something done on purpose. I mean, it's quite clear that, you know, that, that, that it's her. Two, her eye color, too. That's another thing I have to mention is yellow. Nine's eye color is yellow. They have the same hair color. They happen to wear similar clothing. The only difference is she's much older at, in the Blaze Blue universe. And here she's not. 
she's younger. And her story, that's another thing that's very key here. Her story is not that different from Nine. Her story is about the same. Her mother passed away. Dad went off trying to discover whatever. And then eventually Relius comes in later on and so on and so forth. So yeah. This is a this is a lost memories is a origin story of nine. I am convinced that this is nine, um, unless they prove me they prove me wrong otherwise. But this is my theory. I believe she's nine. And I believe Cecilia is the little sister, and that's why they didn't want to give out the name either. Um, and if you look at the design as well of of her little sister, um, and you look at Cecilia, and about the damn same. But this is my theory video. This is what I believe is what x Lost Memories is all about. And I'll place that right at the top of the case. So that's what I believe x is all about. I believe that this is the origin story of Nine. And obviously um, Team Blue, which is the team behind Blaze Blue, is um, trying to give people more of a backstory of what's going on. And have them better understand the characters they're going to see play a bigger role in the future of um, Blaze Blue. I do believe Nine will have a bigger role in Central Fiction as well as some of the newer characters they revealed not that far long ago as well. Um, but it still leaves me to wonder what the hell happened to Toya. And Toya is, is pretty much one of the main characters as well in the story. Um, and he's also... Somewhat, you could sort of say he has a lot to do with the Black Beast, which is the thing that comes and destroys the world every time, no matter how many times they change things. <laughs> Seems like that's how it usually ends. But I guess in Central Fiction or in the next x plays game, they'll uh, hopefully explain that. But I, I believe, though, that um, that... that x plays Lost Memories is an origin story of Nine and Cecilia, Cecilia and um, I believe that this is something they want to explain, but they just didn't put the names in, which is more of a uh, riddle in a sense. So I would recommend if you guys want to know more about uh, Nine in particular, if you, I mean, you can always order the Blaze Blue Phase, Phase novels or mangas. Which was, they have from phase 0 to phase shift 4. It's about, it's about 5 novels, pretty much. Um, it gives you a lot of backstory of the characters and whatnot. Then you, then you have the manga Blaze Blue Remix Heart, which is a flashback. So, um, however you want to look up the story. But another thing I want to mention, too, is that this character, 9, is also part of the Mage Guild. So that's why I also believe that um, this character has a lot to do with um, the future of the Blaze Blue series. So, as I said, I believe she's a part of, this is an origin story of her. And they just want everybody to catch up and get to understand what Nine went through and how her life unfolded. And... Another thing I want to mention too, if you're not convinced that she is that the character in X Blaze Lost Memories is not nine. Another thing, if you play Lost Memories, look at the way she talks about her sister. She cares about her sister so much. Her little sister. I mean, clearly, she it's his little sister, of course. But if you look at Nine's background and you read up on Nine, Nine is the same way about Cecilia. She worries about Cecilia a lot. She cares about her a lot. So I mean in the end of the day, I leave you guys with your own theories. This is my theory, so I believe that the character in x Blaze Lost Memories is 9. But I could be wrong, and when they decide to do another x Blaze game, they could totally change it up and it could be something totally something else. But, I, but until then, I am convinced that the main character you're playing in x Blaze is 9. And this is the origin story of 9 in Cecilia. But until the future comes, only time will tell. But what are, you, what are your guys' theories? Do you believe that this character isn't Nine and that coincidentally they happen to have very close, very close things in common such as events in their lives and their mothers happen to be dying and so on and so forth? Feel free to comment down below. Like, subscribe, 
if you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of this kind of content of me theorizing over blaze blue or anything revolving around most fighting games free to um leave a comment down below or follow me on twitter or whatever but until next time everyone this is rayuka here saying sayonara